All right, folks. I guess y'all think I've given up on the tracks. I haven't. I just finally got the metal back from the metal shop today. I took it down to the local trade school where 17 and 18 year old guys do it for the for the training, and I've got it done for free. It beats 70, 80, 90 dollars an hour at a machine shop, right? But I'm making headway. Got all the teeth put on the wheels, as you can see. All of them put on, welded, grinded, rear, both sides, ready to go. Started mounting some track here today. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight done so far. That's pretty tough to do. It's hard. You got to start out straight with the first one. You know, like anything, like laying flooring or something. It's got to be level. It's got to be straight and square to start out with. Or if you don't, when you get down at the end, one track will be setting sideways. You got me? Well, alrighty. Uh, I'm not really a professional. I just try to do the best I can. You know what I do build. But the dozer hadn't moved a lick. I uh, hadn't done nothing with the brakes yet. You know, I told you on another video that I'm having trouble. I may have to hydraulic the brakes, make them hydraulic from master cylinders and calipers from a car. Uh, there's a little bit of adjustment left. I might be able to adjust. Another guy said that once I use it a little bit and run it some, them discs on the back will polish up and maybe it would start stopping good enough. That will do it. But if it don't, we know how to fix that. Well, you can see how far I gotta go. That is a long way down to yonder. Um, I'm having to grind down some of the pads where they didn't get them just perfect. Close, close enough, but just having to grind, you know, the, he's cutting some of them with a, um, and I forget what you call it, new style, new style cutting deal. But anyway, uh, some of them he chopped with a saw, with a chopping saw, a chopper. And uh, other ones he used uh, that late model torch with. I've got all the teeth mounted everywhere, front and rear. Both wheels, so the wheels are ready. But now when I finish up, now I'm going to take it all back apart and grind the wheels down real pretty and smooth and paint them. I'm thinking about painting the lower half of the tractor black. The upper half will be white and orange as you see. Can give me an idea on what you think about that. Also, when I get these tracks on, I want to need y'all folks' opinion on how many cleats to put. Do I need to put a cleat per pad or a cleat every other? I'm telling you, a cleat per pad is going to be a bunch of them. It's going to look like a porcupine almost with so many cleats sticking up. And I've already done some measuring up here. About a half inch cleat was all I, all I will be able to go. I won't be able to go no further than a half inch cleat. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you that I haven't given up. I'm still working on it. I finally just got the metal back. So this won't take too much longer, and I'll have the tracks on it. And uh, guys will finally get to see it operate one time. I can't wait. Have a good one. I'll talk at you later. Adios.